amazing grace. All right, questions for the last couple of weeks from the Sunday morning services. Uh, the first question is, uh, has to do with the perfection of Jesus. And I've had this discussion a lot with folks where you talk about Jesus's perfections. We don't mean by that that Jesus never stubbed his toe or that he uh, never made a spelling mistake in school or um, missed a math problem. It's not sin to uh, make a mistake like stubbing your toe. You misjudged the step and you stubbed your toe. My guess is Jesus stubbed his toe. The difference is the language that followed out of his, flew out of his mouth versus yours and mine. That, that kind of difference. And so when you ask a question, well, he's a carpenter, does this mean he would get a piece of wood and build Noah's Ark out of a small piece of wood? And the answer is no. He at times messed up a piece of wood and would have to start over. It just he didn't throw it across the carpentry shop and use a bunch of four-letter words. So in that regard, he was very different than us. So his perfections are not a re reference to no human sense of uh, uh, ever making a mistake like... Uh, in the carpentry shop or hitting his thumb with a hammer or something like that, which he probably did. Uh, it's more an issue of a perfection of attitude and will and a continual connection to his heavenly father. So my guess is that there were times when Jesus may have uh, oversawed something in the carpentry shop and had to start over and he just had a really good attitude about it. And so uh, yeah, so when we talk about the perfections of Jesus, we don't mean never any human weakness ever. He was fully human. He got hungry and thirsty and uh, those kinds of things. But it does mean no sin. That he was never a rebellion in his heart. He never had one minute of a bad attitude, even in the midst of a bad carpentry mistake or something like that. So I think that's it. Um, Isaiah 42.3, a bruised reed he will not break or a smoldering flax he will not put out. Um, the question is, what is the, the reference to? And the reference is to the gentleness of Jesus Christ. And it does have to do with, uh, with us and that uh, we are like broken reeds or like a smoldering flax. And so is the city of Jerusalem, where you look at Jerusalem and say, wow, it looks like it's nothing there. And remember that Isaiah 40 opens with, comfort, O comfort my people, say to the city of Zion, uh, behold your God. And there's a lot of encouragement there. And then he comes, the servant comes, and he's gentle. And uh, he takes the weakness of the people of Jerusalem and encourages them. So I think that that is a reference to people and cities, uh, nations. It is a reference to the weakness of those people and those cities and nations and the fact that Jesus Christ comes gently to them. So that's a very good question. Someone had asked about, isn't this about the fact that we can trust him or that we can lean on him? We can, uh, uh, I, I think that's true that uh, even though we're weak, he doesn't break us. Even though we're smoldering, he doesn't put us out. Uh, this is true again for people, but also for cities and nations. So a uh, good question on Isaiah 42, 3. All right, well, that's the questions we've had over the last couple of weeks for Sunday morning. We'll see you guys this Sunday as we look at Isaiah 61 and the last chapter of the servant and uh, the anointed servant in the book of Isaiah. We'll see you Sunday. This is amazing grace. This is unfailing.